Good morning, Bripsuri. We will start Algebra and Statistics, Lesson 4, Unit 1, The Study of Some Polynomial Functions. Number 1, the linear function. What is the meaning of linear function? Linear function, function from R to R, from the set of real numbers to the set of real numbers, where L of x equals ax plus b, the form of linear function f of x equals ax plus b, where in a belong to real numbers, the difference the set of zero, and p belong to the set of real number. It's called a linear function. It is the polynomial function of the first degree, of the first degree. Again, the linear function, function from r to r, f of x equals ax plus b, where in a belong to real numbers, the difference, the set of zero, p belong to the set of real number. It is called a linear function, the polynomial function of the first degree. It's a polynomial function of the first degree. For example, f of x equals 2x plus 3, it is a linear function. f of x equals 10x plus 2, it is called a linear function. Number 2, the graphical representation of the linear function. The graphical, how to draw the linear function. The graphical representation of the linear function. Number one, the linear function, function from R to R, where f of x equals ax plus b, in a belong to the set of real numbers, the difference, the, two, the set of zero, p belong to the set of real numbers. It represented graphically by straight line, by straight line intersecting. This is straight line, draw by straight line intersecting y axis at the point 0 and p 0 and b this straight line intersecting x axis at the point negative b over a and 0 very very important the linear function represented graphically by a straight line this straight line intersecting at y axis at the order the pair 0 and p this straight line intersecting x-axis by the point negative b over a and zero. To represent the linear function, it is enough to find the two ordered pairs belonging to the function. You can find third ordered pair to check the three points on the same straight line. Again, the graphical representation of the linear function any linear function represented graphically by a straight line. This straight line intersecting y-axis at the point 0 and p, 0 and this point. This straight line intersecting x-axis at point negative b over a and 0. To represent the linear function, it's enough to find the two ordered pairs belong to this function. Okay? For example, graph each of the following linear function. Number one, function of x equals 2x minus 3 in the form of f of x equals ax plus b. a equals 2 and b equals negative 3. Very, very important. a equals 2, b equals negative 3. To graph this function, we determine three ordered pairs belonging to the function. We determine three ordered pairs belonging to the function. Number one, f of x equals 2x minus 3. f of negative 1 equals, replace x and with the value of x, 2 times negative 1 minus 3, 2 times negative 1 equals negative 2. Negative 2 minus 3 equals negative 5. Then order the pair negative 1 and the negative 5 belong to the function. Another order the pair. If of 1, replace x and put the value of x. x equals 1. 2 by 1 minus 3. 2 by 1 equals 2. 
2 minus 3 equals negative 1. Then order the pair 1 and the negative 1 belong to function. Another order the pair. f of negative 2 or f of 2, replace x and put the value of x. 2 by 2 equals 4. 4 minus 3 equals 1. Then order the pair 2 and 1 belong to function. Then negative 1 and the negative 5 belong to function. 1 and the negative 1 belong to function. 2 and 1 belong to function. Get 3 in 3 ordered pairs belong to the function. How to graph the linear function? The point of intersecting. This is the perpendicular lines, x axis, y axis. This point, original point, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Negative 1, negative 2, and so on. 1, y axis. 1, 2, 3, and so on. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on. Order the pair number 1. Negative 1 and the negative 5. Negative 1 and the negative 5. Number 1. Number 2. 1 and the negative 1. 1 x and the negative 1 y. 2 and 1, 2 x and 1 y, 3 ordered pairs, lies on the same straight line, the linear function represented graphically by a straight line, intersecting with y axis at point 0 and b, 0 and b, yes, 0 and the negative 3, yes, this point. 0 and negative 3. This straight line intersection with y axis with point 0 and b, 0 and the negative 3 from this graph. Number 2, the point of intersecting with x axis, negative b over a and 0. Negative b equals what? Negative 3, negative, negative 3, negative, negative 3 over 2 and 0 equals 3 over 2 and 0 equals 1.5 and 0 1.5 this point the middle between 1 and 2 1.5 and 0 this point the point of intersection this straight line with x axis 3 over 2 and 0 or 1 and a half and 0 do you understand how to graph the linear function Yes. Number two. Second case, the constant function. It is very, very easy. Constant function. Constant function, function from the set of real numbers to the set of real numbers. Function from R to R, where L of X equals B, and B belong to real numbers. It called a constant function, a constant function, f of f from r to r, f of x equals b, b belong to real number, it, called, it is called a constant function, a constant function, for example, f of x equals 5, any real number is a constant function, where an f of 1 equals 5, an f of 0 equals 5, then 1 and 5 belong to f. 0 and 5 belong to f. Negative 2 and 5 belong to f. Okay, and so on. How to graph a constant function? f of x equals 2. It is a constant function of 0 degree of zero degree very very important f of x equals two the constant function represented graphically by a straight line by a straight line this straight line is above x-axis why why is above x-axis because two is positive f of x equals two the straight line is above x-axis and the both throw the point 0 and 2. 0 
if of 0 equals 2, if of 1 equals 2, if of 2 equals 2, if of 3 equals 2, if of negative 2 equals 2, if of negative 3 equals 2, if of 1 equals 2, if of 3 equals 2. It is called a constant function. It is a called a constant function by drawing a straight line. And this straight line passes through the point 0 and 2. Very, very important. f of x equals negative 3. This is straight line above x-axis or below x-axis. Excellent. Below x-axis. Why? f of x equals negative, negative 3. If of 0 equals negative 3, if of 1 equals negative 3, if of 2 equals negative 3, if of 3 equals negative 3, if of negative 1 equals negative 3, if of negative 2 equals negative 3, if of negative 3 equals negative 3, it is called a constant function. It is called a constant function. This straight line is below x axis and the path is through the point 0 and negative 3 f of x equals 0, f of x equals 0, by using, represented graphically, a straight line. This straight line is coincident, coincident x-axis. Coincident x-axis. The straight line is coincident with x-axis, and the bus is through the point 0 and 0. Do you understand how to graph a constant function? Okay. The third function, the quadratic function. Again, the quadratic function. What is the meaning of quadratic function? The function from R to R, where L of, of x equals a x squared plus p x plus c. Very, very important. Quadratic function, f of x equals a x squared plus p x plus c, where in a, b, and c belong to or or real numbers, and in a not equal zero. is called a quadratic function. A quadratic function, and the quadratic function it is a polynomial function of the second degree. It's a polynomial function of the second degree. How to graph the quadratic function? Very, very important. Examples of quadratic function, f of x equals x squared, f of x equals x squared minus two, f of x equals three x squared minus seven x plus two, f of x equals six minus x squared plus x. Examples of quadratic function. How to graph the quadratic function? Very, very important. Graph each of the following quadratic function. Number one, f of x equals x squared. Taking the closed interval, x belong to closed interval negative three and three. Number one, Use all ordered pairs. Use all ordered pairs. X belong to the closed interval negative three and three. If X equals negative three, then Y equals what? If X equals negative two, Y equals what? If X equals negative one, then Y equals what? Number one. If X equals negative three, F of negative. 3. f of x equals x squared. Replace x and put the value of x. Negative 3 squared equals 9. Then negative 3 and 9 order the pair. Negative 3 and 9 belong to function. Number 2. f of negative 2. f of x equals x squared. Replace x and put the value of x. Negative 2 squared equals Four. Then negative two and four order the pair negative two and four belong to the function. F of negative one replace x and put the value of x negative one 
square equals one. Then negative one and one order the pair negative one and one belong to the function, and so on. F of equal zero, then f of zero equal zero. F of one equals one. F of two equals four. F of three equals nine. And we grab all ordered pairs by using his or her hand, by using a hand, not by using a ruler, by using a hand. Draw by using hand. Okay? Number one, negative three and nine, negative three x and nine y. Point number one, negative two and four, negative two x and four. Y. Negative 1 and 1. Negative 1 X and 1 Y. 0 and 0. 0 and 0. 0 X and 0 Y. 1 and 1. 1 X and 1 Y. 2 and 4. 2 X and 4 Y. 3 and 9. 3 X and 9 Y. By using hand, his or her hand, okay, draw a quadratic function. Okay. The curve is symmetric with respect to y axis. At first, the curve is symmetric with respect to y axis. Y axis is called the line of symmetry of the curve. The line of symmetry of the curve y axis is called yes, line of symmetry of the curve, and its equation is x equals zero. It is the line called line of symmetry of this curve, and its equation is x equals zero. Okay, okay, the vertex of the curve, is this called the vertex of a curve, the vertex of a curve. The point of the vertex of a curve equal zero and zero, zero and zero, and it's considered minimum value or maximum value, excellent, minimum value, it is called a minimum value, a minimum value. Value. It's a con considered as a minimum value. A minimum value. Why it is considered as a minimum value? Because the whole curve lies up on it. Lies up on it. Lies up on it. Okay? The vertex of the curve, it's considered a minimum value. A minimum value. And the minimum value of the function is zero. Y zero. Y coordinate of the vertex of the curve. Y coordinate of the vertex of the curve. Okay? Yes, the minimum value of the function equal zero. Y zero, it is the Y coordinate of the vertex of the curve. Very, very important. Line of symmetry of the curve, the vertex of the curve, it is considered the minimum value or maximum value. Okay? The curve, the whole curve lies up on it. Why lies up on it? Because x squared is positive, not negative. Okay? Do you understand how to graph a quadratic function? Yes. Number two, f of x equals negative x squared. Very, very important. Negative x squared. Taking x belong to closed interval negative three and three. Number one, negative three. f of negative three. Replace x and put the value of x. x equals the negative three. Negative, negative three squared equals negative nine. Then negative three and the negative nine belong the two function. Number two, f of negative two equals negative negative two squared equals negative four. Then negative two and the negative four belong the two function. f of negative one 
f of negative 1 equals negative negative 1 squared equals negative 1. Then negative 1 and negative 1 belong to function. And if, it, if x equals 0, replace x and put the value of x. Then 0 and 0 belong to function. 1 and negative 1 belong to function. 2 and negative 4 belong to function. 3 and negative 9 belong to function. Number 2, locate the ordered pairs on the graph. Number 1, negative 3x and negative 9y. Negative 3 and negative 9. Point to number 1. Negative 2 and negative 4. Negative 2x and negative 4. Number 2. Negative 1 and negative 1. Negative 1 and negative 1. 0 and 0. 0 and 0. 1 and negative 1. 1x one and negative 1. Why? This point. 2 and negative 4. 2x and negative 4. Why? 3 and negative 9. 3x and negative 9. Using his or her hand to draw the quadratic function. Yes? Yes. To make the curve, the quadratic function. The curve is symmetric with respect to y-axis. This line considered line of symmetry of the curve, line of symmetry of the curve, and its equation equals x equals zero. x equals zero. This line called line of symmetry of the curve, and its equation equals x equals zero. Okay, this point, this point called the vertex of the curve, the vertex of the curve. Yes, the vertex of the curve. Okay, the vertex of a curve, it is called or it is considered minimum or maximum. Yes, maximum. Why maximum? Because the whole curve lies below it, lies below it. Okay, below x-axis. It is called a maximum value. It is considered a maximum value. The vertex of the curve, 0 and 0, it is, it is considered a maximum value point of the curve. Yes, and the maximum value of the curve equals y coordinate of the point of the vertex. Maximum value equals zero. Y coordinate of the vertex of the curve. Yes, very, very important. The line of symmetry of the curve, the vertex of the curve, and the point of maximum value or minimum value. Do you understand linear function, constant function, and quadratic function, and how to graph this function, okay? Thank you for listening and have a nice day.